Hometown Cooking with Marianne. I just finished um, putting up my tomatoes and have a lot left over. So we're going to dry them. I'm um, going to dehydrate them and I will pan you down to my table and show you how I do them. Okay, now these tomatoes have been um, blanched. They, the tips have been taken off. They've been blanched and um, <clears throat> excuse me, the skin has been removed. Now all I'm going to do slice them up hard piece. I don't think that's going to do. And I'm going to put them on my tray. We're going to see is everything in there. This one's a little pale. Let me see. You know, I don't really think I'm going to use that one. I don't think it's going to be sweet enough. Now my, <clears throat> I sharpened my knife very well. And I would say eighth of an inch. Maybe quarter, maybe close to a quarter inch. Oh, we'll find out. We'll measure out. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Okay, I'm going to start over here. That's about a half inch. I think I want to make it thinner than that. Okay. I would say about <clears throat> quarter inch. Okay. We'll bring this one down. Well, on both sides if you're going to do that. You can hear it popping in the background. They're my tomatoes that I did. That one I think would be fine. You don't want them too thick. There you go. Yeah. And then just continue and you can tell that um, these are the Roma tomatoes and they're excellent for this because you don't have as many seeds. You can take them out if you want, but I'm going to leave them in. Okay. And I will bring you back when I'm finished cutting them up and layering my trays. Okay. Alright. got, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> four trays. Put the lid on. And it's going to be fruits and veggies, 135. This 35, I might go up to 45. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in on my porch and we'll let it go for, oh, I'm going to try about, before I go to bed, I'll check on it. Okay, these are my tomatoes, my dried tomatoes. I had them going all night. I would say about. About 16 hours. Uh, that's the texture that they are. They're a little gummy. They do taste good. Mm. I don't know. I'm putting them into a clean jar. They come right off. Some of them will stick. You can get a knife. Your nails, anything, get them off. If you don't want them this small, cut your tomato long ways. We don't have longer tomatoes. So I'm going to put them in this jar. I think that one hit the floor. <laughs> yep, that one's pretty cat to play with. Okay. So that's how you make dried tomatoes. You have a lot of tomatoes. You don't have. You can rehydrate these. I personally would put them in warm water. Um, these are good to snack on too. Okay. So you get the idea. And we made the tomatoes two ways. I'm going to put up all the videos. Hopefully the weekend and that's it so I'm going to continue to put these in a jar and I'm going to put my lid on I have to need a smaller lid and then I'm going to vacuum pack it and I'll show you how to do that
you have to need a special top for that so I'll be back in a couple minutes when I get them all in my jar <laughs> okay these are for vacuum packing the jars I get them from Amazon these are for the wide mouth jars these are for the regular jars okay all right so what I did was I used my vacuum sealer food saver that you're supposed to be able to do is just plug it in you have to close it and you push the little handle down and push the vacuum and seal what you do is you put it on top of your jar with a clean lid and I had to put that um, under warm water I guess to get it to seal better there you go now you have your tomatoes in here sealed and you put them away label them dry tomatoes and the date that you did it and what you should be able to do is when you open it out you take what you want you, if you're not going to use them right away you seal it up again so okay <laughs> I hope you try drying your own tomatoes and we can the other ones and that's on another video and y'all have a good day enjoy the fall coming and I'll be doing more videos for you love you and tell your family about it if you like this your friends and your family and maybe they can join our family have a good day bye bye